Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMena.com. In this video, I want to show you how to create a Google Ads campaign from start to finish as you watch behind my shoulder. I have been doing affiliate marketing for the past five years and Google Ads was one of the factors that helped me generate a full-time six-figure income being able to work from anywhere in the world making money online. And so in this video, I want to show you exactly how to set up a campaign the exact same way that I set it up for my business. Now, the coolest thing about this video is take a look at the date. It is January 2nd today, 2022. So this video was made in 2022 for 2022 so that you don't have to watch a three year old video under the disguise of a 2022 one. Okay. So hopefully everything I show you here will be exactly the same as you should see on your end. It's going to be as fresh as possible. I specifically waited for the new year to release and even record these videos just so you could see the most updated version. Okay. So that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So if you want to create Google ads, the first thing you need is some sort of website, right? So the website we'll be using for illustration purposes for this video is going to be my own website, evonmana.com. That's the website we'll be using. What you want to do is have a website ready and then head over to ads.google.com. Okay. So just head over ads.google.com. And if you don't have an account yet, click on start now, and you will be able to go through a very quick process of signing up. You can use any email you want. You don't need a Gmail, but I do suggest using a Gmail or like a, you know, G suite Gmail account. Uh, it just makes it that much easier to manage all, all these things within the whole Google system, right? Just makes it a little bit easier, but totally up to you. So start now, enter some basic details like your email address. You might have to go in and confirm it, your name, uh, you know, things like that. And then as you do that, you should see a screen that looks like this. So once you're in the Google ads kind of part of it, this is going to be the first page that you see. So you'll see some options here and then you'll see some options here at the bottom. So you don't want to select any of these options over here at all. All right, because that's going to limit your options, your customization options. Once you actually do get to the campaign creation part, what you want to do instead is click on this option here, switch to expert mode. Okay. So that option there is going to give you so many more options, so many more choices when it comes to building out your campaign that you just have to do it. You can't miss it. Okay. Any professional agencies, anyone that's running Google ads at a higher level, they are using expert mode. Nobody is using these unless they're a complete beginner and they haven't seen this video. So if you want the most flexibility, just click on switch to expert mode. So you're going to click that and then you will see something that looks like this. All right. And then this is where we're going to go in and build our campaign from. So I'm actually going to go ahead and close out of that one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a search ad, right? So a search ad is one of those ads that shows up when you type something into the Google search bar and then it just shows up at the top. It will say ad or advertisement so that you know that it's an ad. But I find this is the easiest and most efficient way to promote on Google ads because you're giving people what they want. So if somebody types in buy shoes, there are going to be ads that are going to be selling shoes, right? So it's not like disruptive marketing where you're just throwing out random ads to random people. You're actually giving people what they want. So a very, very efficient way to narrow down your audience and give your offer to people that actually want it. So what we do here is we're going to click on website traffic. We're going to select search. And then the next thing we have to do is enter the business website. So my business website is I'm going to type in HTTPS www.evonmana.com, right? That's the, the website we're going to be using in this video. And I'm going to be giving people a free uh, affiliate marketing guide. So that's kind of the topic of what we're trying to promote here. For the campaign name, we can say Yvonne Affiliate Guide, and we're going to click continue. And so now we're just going to go from top to bottom, filling things in. You might see a slightly different interface. Okay. Now this isn't something that's just not updated. This is just Google split testing different interface options for different people. So you might see like a table of contents here on the left hand side, for example. Um, and it's pretty much the same. Okay. So just pay attention to uh, like the options that I'm filling in. For example, campaign name, right? You will see the campaign name, just it might be somewhere maybe over here, like below this bar or something like that. Right. So it might look a tiny bit different and it's not because it's not updated. It's because Google just split tests different variations of what their interface looks like to everybody. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, but it's generally, it's, it's going to be the exact same process. So for the campaign name, we're going to enter this again. I don't know why I didn't allow, put it in the first time. So we'll say affiliate guide. Now the next thing here it's asking for is the networks. So this is where you want your ads to show up. So do you want your ads to show up strictly on google.com 
or do you want it to show up on other sites like askjeeves.com, for example, partners of Google? So if you do want it to show up on other websites as well, then you can just check mark this option here. If you want it to show up strictly on just google.com, you would deselect it. I also suggest for search ads, you deselect this, this option here so that again, it doesn't show up on any other site. It only shows up on google.com. Okay, I'm just trying to save you some money. So now we're gonna go down. You can click on show more settings. You can adjust the start and end date here if you want. I usually don't. I usually monitor my campaign and pause it. But if you feel like maybe you'll be going away on vacation and you don't want your ads to auto run because Google will keep taking money out of your account until you pause the ads, then you can go in and just select an end date. So let's say we want to end it in one week, right? Uh, campaign URL options, you can leave these. These are okay. Ad schedule, you can say, hey, you know, let's suppose you're running a call center that's open from nine to five Eastern time. You can set your time right here. And the time is going to be based on your account time. So I, I go by Eastern time. So my account is Eastern time. So if you put a nine to five, that's going to be Eastern time. We're going to leave this option blank though for location. So totally dependent on where you want to promote your product. Normally when I first test an offer, I usually start with tier one countries. So I would type in, for example, Canada, enter uh, America, enter United Kingdom, enter Australia, enter and New Zealand. Okay. So that's usually what I did to test offers. The, uh, these are the countries which have the highest quality traffic, but it's totally up to you and up to your market and your needs for languages. We're going to leave it at English. This does not translate your ad. So if you select Chinese, your ads will not be automatically translated to Chinese. This just shows your ads to people with a specific interface. So if our ads are English, we probably want to show our ads to English speakers, right? People who have an English interface on their computer. So we're just going to leave, leave it at English here. Audience segments, we're going to leave blank for now. This is where you can add your remarketing lists, which is not the point of this video. Uh, I do cover that in other videos and I will make other videos on that as well. So make sure to check that out if you want to learn how to do remarketing. Now for the budget, you can set whatever budget you want. The more you spend, the faster you'll get results, right? Um, I do suggest a budget of 10 to $20 a day should be good for any one campaign to get started. When I first started my affiliate marketing journey, I started with $10 a day just so I could learn things, just so I could get in there and not, you know, go bankrupt and lose my shirt as I was learning the Google ads interface, as I was seeing what worked, what did it. So if you want to take it slow and just start with something low like that, you can do that as well. Now for the bidding. What I do suggest you do is definitely don't keep it like this as the default because you will exceed your entire budget in, in, you know, in the first few minutes or the first few hour, depending on what keywords you're using. But I do suggest actually selecting that not recommended option and clicking on manual CPC. And this way you will be able to set a maximum bid on every single keyword that you add. So you might have noticed by now that some of these suggestions that Google ads give you are actually suggestions for them to make more money, not for you to save money and to find the most relevant audience. Because our goal with Google ads is to find the most relevant audience for us and make as much money as we possibly can by selecting this very target audience. Okay. So that's our goal. So I'm showing you here everything that will align with that goal. So the next thing we can do here is click on show more settings. You can leave everything else as is. One thing I do like to do is select do not optimize and rotate ads indefinitely so that if you do set up several ads, you will be the one who will be able to determine which ads are working, which ones aren't. Because normally what I find is that Google sometimes, if it sees that one ad is performing better, it's going to show that ad way more right at the start without even giving your other ads a chance. Okay. So I don't like that. I want to give all ads an equal chance until I reach a certain number of clicks or impressions or things like that. So I do like to do it myself. So we're going to scroll down. Uh, these are additional ad extensions that could boost your ad visibility and click through rate. It is not necessary. You don't have to do them. So I'm going to skip them for now, but I do have other videos. Check them out in the description if you want to learn how to do them. So I'm going to go in and click save and continue. And now this is the keyword part. Okay. So this is where we're actually going to select what words do you want people to type in in order to see your ads? So um, let's name this ad group affiliate marketing guide. And what I want to do is I want to target people that are looking for an affiliate marketing guide. So for example, affiliate marketing guide. Um, if these fit for you, that's good, but I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm just going to delete them and I'm just going to type in affiliate marketing guide, maybe affiliate marketing info, maybe affiliate marketing book, 
affiliate marketing ebook, things like that. So what I like to do is I actually like to create different ad groups for different categories. So for example, for this ad group, we're going to be targeting people that are looking for an affiliate marketing guide or book or PDF or whatever, which by the way, is also a good thing to add. Let's say affiliate marketing PDF. Um, and then I, I, I can make another ad group, for example, for how to make money online or how to earn money online or learn affiliate marketing or what is affiliate marketing. So different ad groups, that's what I like to do. It's a bit of a more advanced step. So I'm not going to cover it in this video, but that's generally what you want to do. The idea is to create ads that are very relevant to your keywords. So if your keyword is, if your keywords are affiliate marketing guide, then you want to have ads that are going to say affiliate marketing guide, right? And if you have an ad group that says how to make money online, you want to have ads that say learn how to make money online. You don't want to have ads that are going to say affiliate marketing guide because that's not what people type for, right? So that's the idea. Um, now what you could do is you can type in your website name here and you can get ideas. You could also type in the name of your product or service. So I could have typed in affiliate marketing guide here and Google would have given me ideas. Now, what you could also do is use a keyword planner. It might not be available right away if you're just starting out. So if that's the case, you would just finish everything. You know, we, we're going to finish this campaign and then you can go in and do keyword research and add more keywords. And I have a separate video where I show you exactly how to do that. I will link it in the description. If you want to do more keyword research, you want to find more relevant keywords. Okay. And let's go to the bid real quick. So the default bid is how much are you willing to pay for every click? What's the maximum you're willing to pay for every click? So let's suppose I want to pay up to 50 cents per click. That means that Google isn't going to charge me more than 50 cents for every click to my website. Okay. So this is up to you. I do suggest starting on the lower end and then slowly bringing it up as the time goes by as you start seeing clicks and impressions, because if you put it too high right off the bat, you might exceed your budget in the first hour or so, right? If you spend too much on clicks. And so you don't want that. You want to test and you want to see what works, what doesn't. You want to get the hang of it. So I like to start low. And then if I'm not getting enough clicks, then I'm going to go in and increase it. Now, the other thing is the different match types. So you do have different match types here. So a broad match type is when you don't add anything else to your keyword. So it's just like that. You're not going to add any brackets or any quotation marks, anything like that. And what that means is that if somebody types in anything remotely similar to what I have here, to my idea here, then my ads will show up. So if somebody types in, for example, F online make money guide, my ads might show up because it's fairly similar to affiliate marketing. Now there's no definition. I can't tell you exactly what's going to match what doesn't Google will determine that. But if Google determines that whatever search terms somebody types in matches your keyword, your ads are going to show up. So this might not be a good idea if you're low on budget because you might see some really irrelevant search terms. So if somebody, for example, types in make money online video, then my ad might show up. And is that somebody I want to target? Maybe not, right? So you want to play it by ear. And if you have a tight budget and you want to target as relevant people as possible, I would not suggest using broad. This is good if you have a big budget and you're okay to test because then you might see some new ideas that you haven't thought of before. Like if somebody types in make money online video, I wouldn't have thought about that, for example. But now I know that it's working if I, let's suppose I get sales with that keyword, right? So that's the idea. So that's a broad match. It's very broad. Uh, next, you have a phrase match type. Phrase match type means that the words that you have in your keyword must be present in the search term that somebody shows up for your ads to show up. So the way we indicate that is by adding quotation marks before and after. And so if somebody types in any of these words in the search term in Google, in any order, my ads will show up. So if somebody types in marketing info affiliate, my ads are going to show up. If somebody types in any other words as well, my ads will show up, but these words must be present in the search term for my ads to show up. So if somebody types in get marketing affiliate for free info, my ad will show up. Okay. Because all these three words were in the search term. So if you want to narrow down your audience and get more relevant traffic, you should use phrase match type. Now, an even more exact and constrained match type is the exact match type. And that is if you put square brackets before and after your keyword. And what that means is that somebody has to type in affiliate marketing book pretty much exactly into the search term by pretty much. I mean, they could include spelling variations or if Google determines that a certain word is very synonymous with another word. Maybe they think that a book is synonymous with ebook or with PDF. 
um, that will show up as well. So if you want the most exact and the most targeted audience to your keywords that you selected, you should go with exact. So in this case, somebody has to type in pretty much affiliate marketing book exactly for my ads to show up. If somebody types words in after or before or in between these words, like affiliate for free marketing book, the ads will not show up. Okay. So these are the three different match types that are here. Um, I do suggest using phrase and exact if you're a bit tight on budget and you want a more targeted audience. If you have a very big budget and you're okay to go big and just test and get as many ideas as possible, you can include some broad. So let me just, cause I'm a perfectionist, remove the little spaces here, make it look nice and neat. And we can just go ahead and make these um, exact as well. Now keep in mind with exact, obviously you're gonna get less search volume, right? Because there are less people typing in these words exactly as they would be typing in something that's related to this, for example, right? So keep that in mind. If you're using exact or phrase, you probably want to add many more keywords to increase, right? Your, your, your visibility and the potential for your ads to show up. So that's it for this, for the keywords. Let's go in and save and go to next step. Again, your screen might look a little different. You might see the table of contents on the left, but everything is exactly the same. You would be at the ads, uh, at the keywords and ad creation part right now. All right. And you might see the ads. Uh, underneath the actual keywords in, in some cases, okay? Because I've seen all kinds of different pages, but they, they all have the same exact idea, okay? So um, this is where we create the ad. Now they remove the search ad format where you can just type in two keywords, two descriptions, and that's it. Now what they do is, this, is they have this responsive search ad, which means that you're gonna give Google some options for your headlines and for your descriptions, and Google's gonna rotate them all around, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your final URL is here. If you don't have the HTTPS in front of your website, you might see a little triangle here that says use HTTPS whenever possible. Okay. So use HTTPS whenever possible. And next thing you have here is the display path. So this, the display path is just what shows up to people in your actual ad. So if you, so we can type in, for example, affiliate guide here. As you can see, it should show up here under the preview affiliate guide. And this won't affect your actual website. So when people click on this ad, they will still go to yvonnemana.com. But this is just to make it seem a little bit more relevant, right? Affiliate guide. So the next thing we have to do is add titles. So these aren't quite relevant. So I'm just going to go in and delete all of them. They pre-populated based on Google scanning my website. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm probably going to delete this too and they're giving me ideas already. You might or might not see ideas, like over here I have dropdowns. I might have dropdowns, no, not for headlines, but for descriptions, I have dropdowns. Um, if your site has not, hasn't been scanned by Google yet, that's okay, we can just put in information about your offer. So in my case, I am promoting a free affiliate marketing guide for beginners. So I'm just gonna type in free affiliate marketing guide. That's one of my headlines that I wanna use. Now notice that I don't want to capitalize anything. So even though over here, my word is capitalized. You do not want to have all caps in Google ads with the exception of acronyms like YMCA, for example, you know, things like that. Um, you don't want to do that. It goes against Google terms. You're also not allowed to have multiple different quotation marks in a row, like several question marks or dot, dot, dot. You're not allowed to do that. Okay. You can only have one. So they basically want to prevent spam and prevent, uh, people from, from seeing like too much information, like too many unnecessary quotation marks or too many unnecessary symbols in your ads. Okay. So free affiliate marketing guide, I could say, learn how to make money online just to test it and see how it works. Now I could also try something like free affiliate marketing ebook. I could try maybe affiliate guide for beginners and see how these work. Right. And we're fitting in the maximum character limit is 30. So we're just barely making it in. Right. Uh, so this, I want to be my very first headline, right? Something that's going to show up at the top. My rule of thumb is I want whatever people are typing in to show up at the very top, like be the very first headline. So what I'm going to do is click on this little pin here and I'm going to select show only in position one. I'm going to do the same here, show only in position one. So I want these headlines to show up only in position one. I don't want them to show up somewhere last because if people are typing in affiliate marketing guide, I want that to be the very first thing they see. So my ad clicks and they say, Hey, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Right now. The second headline I like to do is a call to action. So something like get started now or get 
your guide now or learn more now. Now, to be honest, I don't like to include so many variations. So I would probably only include two headline ones, two headline twos, and maybe one headline three, okay? Because you do need a third one. Because if you spread yourself too thin and you have way too many options, you might spend like 50 cents on every different ad variation. And that's just not enough money, not enough time to see which works. So I like to keep my number of ads to a minimum, maybe two to three max, so that you are able to actually spend money on each of the ads, okay? So uh, for Get Started Now, we're gonna do the same thing. I want this to be in headline two. So we're gonna say headline two, headline two. And then for my headline three, what I like to do is provide some more information about the product. So in my case, it is a, let's say, 55 page guide, or is there anything else? 55 page ebook, yeah. So we can just say that, and I'm gonna pin this in position three. So this is what our ad is gonna look like so far. You can go into desktop preview or mobile preview, and you can go in like that, and you can see all the different variations, right? So for somebody that's gonna be typing in affiliate marketing guide, affiliate marketing info, affiliate marketing ebook, this is what's gonna show up, so it's pretty relevant. Now, the next thing you wanna do is add descriptions. And keep in mind, guys, even though it says zero out of four or seven out of 10 headlines, this doesn't mean that you should put in all 15 headlines or all four descriptions. Like I said, you don't want to spread it too thin and have too many variations, right? So for new description, here are some ideas. Let's see. So that actually looks perfect. The only exception being, do you see it? Yes, this is all caps. We can't do that. So learn what affiliate marketing is and how you can make money with it today. And then what else? Learn and how, yeah, so that's exactly it. So we could, I could copy this one right here. And paste it here. And that is within the 90 character limit. And then what I do like to do is I do like to title case everything here. So it's just, it, it stands out a little bit more I found when you title case it. And then what you could also do is use ampersand and name an email and I'll send you my 55 page guide. Okay. Ebook right away. And then I will not um, set these to any specific spot because I think it's fine to try showing my this headline in the first spot or showing this sorry description in the second spot I think it's fine I don't think it's gonna uh, matter too much so I'm okay to try that out and so that's basically it for the ad so you can go in here and you can see what it looks like now it does say your ad has poor strength so that's okay I uh, just wanted to show you that if it says poor strength it doesn't mean you're not allowed to promote it's just Google's suggestion based on these criteria so first of all, they want you to add more headlines, which is something I don't suggest. Next, they want you to include more popular keywords. So they want you to include more keywords like this, affiliate marketing info, affiliate marketing book, affiliate marketing ebook. So these are the keywords that we selected. So Google is saying you should probably have them in the headline. And we generally do. We have ebook, we have guide, we have affiliate guide for beginners. So it's pretty close. But if you want to fill in this little circle, you can just go in and add these keywords as well and make your headlines more unique. So our headlines are pretty similar to each other. So Google is saying, make them a bit more unique. So that's totally okay, just letting you know, just because it says poor ad strength doesn't mean you have to redo your ad and keep working on it until it's perfect. And you can also go in here and kind of see, you know, more information about what it is to make your ad stand out more. But hey, if it works, it works, right? This is just a bot, this is just a system, an algorithm. It is not human, but it does wanna make money. So. We're gonna scroll down, we'll say save and continue. And this is gonna be our one responsive search ad. What you wanna do is also send in your payment details next. So I'm gonna go in and pause this video as I enter my payment details and I will see you on the next page. All right, and here it says, congrats, you're all done. So let's explore your campaign. I'll show you some options here and what you can look at and then you should be good to go. So you might see an interface that looks like this. You could switch view and it's gonna look a little bit different. So. Totally up to you how you wanna go. I'm gonna switch view so that I see everything here on the left-hand side. If you click on campaigns, you're gonna see all your campaigns right here. So if you click on affiliate guide, you're gonna see the guide here that we created, the ad group. You can change the bid here. If you click on ads, you will see the ads. Uh, it's pending review. And then if you go into keywords, you can adjust your keywords here. And that is it. Congratulations, you've successfully created your Google Ads campaign from start to finish. You can click on this little pencil icon so that you can edit your ad if you want to. So if you guys wanna check out your free affiliate marketing guide, definitely take a look. I also offer you courses on my site at evonmanon.com slash all dash courses. I have this course, which teaches you how to make money online with ClickBank 
And then I also have very thorough courses on Google Ads, Microsoft Ads, everything you want. So if you want even more details on Google Ads, I have almost 300 minutes of video course material that you can go through and learn everything you need about Google Ads in much more thorough detail. Also, definitely take a look at my YouTube channel, guys, youtube.com slash Mana. I have over 400 plus free videos at this point of completely free content, including lots of Google Ads content that you will find super, super valuable. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.